Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video on some of the tracker or filtering options that we introduced in Reality Field 1.1. So my setup today is I have a Vive tracker with a single lighthouse, which is a fairly inaccurate uh, setup. Uh, to make visualizing this a little easier, I'm just gonna zero it and then zoom way the heck in. And what you'll notice is that there's kind of two movements here. First of all, it's going crazy. Um, there's kind of a larger movement and that's the inaccuracy of the system due to only having one lighthouse. And then within that, there's like this higher frequency jitter that uh, people typically associate with Vive trackers. So we can, there's not much we can do about the lower frequency movement. I mean, there is, but you know, you're gonna lose a lot of accuracy, but we can certainly address the jitter. So what I'm gonna do is go over to filter and analysis and I'll click on analyze positional. And that'll actually give us the major peak of the current frequencies of the tracker. So what that means is that the frequency with the most movement on it is 17.4 um, hertz. And I'm gonna run this a few times. This one's 15, 11. Basically what you wanna get is the lowest, um, you want the lowest number. And I've done this before and I, I found the 10 is typically a good number here. So we'll type in 10 and this is a low pass filter. And what that means is that everything above 10 hertz is gonna be cut off. So I'm gonna enable it and then I'm hit refresh. And you can see, um, it doesn't really look like anything's happening. And uh, the reason for that is we also have to adjust the sampling time. So I'll go over to values, positional, and we now have this rate readout that is independent for every different tracking system. So in this case, it's a Vive tracker and it's coming in at a thousand hertz. Oh boy, that thing's going crazy. Um, so I'm gonna type in um, 0.001, which is one millisecond, thousand hertz. I'm gonna hit refresh. And you can see that that uh, actually is making a difference to that high frequency jitter. So that's without and that's with, and you can, you can definitely see a difference there. Obviously we can go higher just to really illustrate the point. So we'll type in 0 0.0001, let refresh again, and you can see now a pretty major difference without with. Now obviously you're gonna lose some accuracy with this in terms of um, uh, latency and um, just precision. However, it's something that you may wanna evaluate on a shot by shot basis. If you're on a tripod, you losing that, that um, latency is not that big of a deal. If you're in a handheld shot, for example, well then maybe you don't care so much about jitter because you won't notice it, but maybe you want it to be a little snappier. So that's um, just something you should evaluate uh, just on a per case basis. And I'll also show you here, in the new save load system, we can now actually, um, we now actually load these all in drop downs. So you can just hit save and that saves your preset. And then you can select this and load this back up at any point. So we've just loaded it and all those values are now carried over, ready to load up in the future. You can get Reality Field at www.realityfield.xyz and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Have a good one.